Zion Williamson will make his NBA debut tomorrow against the Spurs. And I'm very happy about this. I've been waiting, just like many people, for him to finally play his first official NBA game. And I know he's going to put on a great show when he steps onto that court. He's going to dominate the Spurs. He's going to stuff that stat sheet. He's going to have like 20 points, 10 rebounds, 3 or 4 assists, 2 or 3 blocks, and a steal. So he's going to go all out. He's going to show us all why he was more than deserving of the number one overall pick. I know he's going to give us two or three thunderous dunks. He's going to shoot a three. He's going to get to the foul line. He's going to pull out his offensive toolkit because we know that he's a very skilled big man. I look forward to watching him play. I don't think anyone on the Spurs will be able to stop him. Maybe LaMarcus Aldridge might be able to bother him with his length. But I don't think anybody else from the, stir, from the Spurs are going to cause any problems with Zion. As we know, he's big, he's skilled, he's gifted. And I don't think the Spurs are going to have an answer for him. So like I said, when I, I'm looking forward to seeing him play tomorrow. It's going to be a great game. I think the Pelicans will definitely get a boost with them being on the court. Right now, I believe the record is 17 and 27. They're fifth in the division. So if they're able to beat the Spurs, I think it'll give them the confidence and the boost that they need. And they'll keep on winning. And I've got a sneaking suspicion that they're going to end up in the playoffs this year. If Zion can stay healthy, I believe he'll give them that thrust, that push that they need to make noise in the Western Conference. Now, Brandon Ingram is doing very well. He's holding it down while Williams has been out. Ingram is averaging 25 points a game, and I believe he should be an all-star, for sure. He should be in the NBA all-star game. I hope he gets selected, because he's been putting in work, picking up the scoring slack while Zion is out. Now that Zion is playing, now that he's back, wow. This team is loaded with talent. You've got Lonzo Ball. You've got Zion. You've got Ingram. You've got J.J. Redick. They've got so many pieces intact. They got Holiday. So they've got a nice squad on their hand. So if the Pelicans can stay healthy, they can make some noise in the Western Conference. It's wide open. I know that everyone's talking about the Clippers and the Lakers, but watch out. Watch out for the Pelicans because if Zion is there, I think he's one of those players he can give the team a boost. He can galvanize the team and have them playing well. And now we're going to see a little bit of that tomorrow against the Spurs. You're going to see with him on the court, everybody will pick up the level of play. Because this happened at Duke when he was there. He was a lightning rod for that squad. And he definitely will be a lightning rod for the Pelicans. And I'm telling you right now, the future is really bright with this team. We're going to get a glimpse of that tomorrow. And don't be surprised if they're in the Western Conference Finals in a year or two with Zion running the show. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. If you haven't done so already, just press that subscribe button below this video. If you did that, I greatly appreciate it. And plus, by subscribing, you wouldn't miss out on any future content that I post. So please remember to subscribe. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope that you have a blessed, wonderful day.